Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in the previous video we thought that we killed the governor but it wasn't him, it was his clone. And now it's time to find him and kill him. Like actually him. And not his clone or his bodyguard. Who's this Taurus? And what's your mind done to earn a death sentence? He's a Templar. Like Rogers and Hornigold. Men cooking up schemes to use the observatory for ill purposes. For power and control. The violence he'd cause with this thing would be subtle but heavy. Deadly, yet leaving no mark. Does that make sense? Like if there was a drought and people was thirsty, and one man had a large cask of water but gave a sip to none, he'd be a killer with no blood in his hands. Aye, like that. Fair enough. All right, so it's time to reach, to reach the shore. The I guess that this is the island that the observatory is on. That makes a lot of sense. And she's gonna follow me. Okay. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. We might see some soldiers and the like. Maybe they've gone? No, they're here. Deep in the jungle. There's another galleon, so they're definitely here. Yeah, I think I remember this place. Yeah, I definitely remember it. That's the observatory. Soldiers, just there. What should we do? What should we do? It's... That's a that's a stupid question. Obviously, we need to kill all of them. They brought every ounce of menace they had. Wait a second. They were messing around with guardians of the jungle. Because there are, there are corpses, corpses of both of them. That's good. It is good to know that they did the job for us. And we don't have to fight all of them along the way. That's always a good option. But I think that there is our first opponent down there. Okay, not anymore. He's been eaten by a fucking alligator. And a strict, a restricted area. So I might actually find someone here. A beaver. That is the only thing that I found here. A few guardians and I can free someone, so let's go ahead and do that. Are they gonna be added to my crew or, or not? No, obviously not. Alright. Previously I was killing them, now I'm letting them go. Makes a lot of sense. Alright, where is he? He's down there. Awesome. Let's let them go. Awesome, there's one more, but is he down here or up there? He's probably up there. Yeah, he's somewhere on this level. There they are. Okay. They're not gonna join my crew, but I can just I can still free them. Oh. 
And I guess that was all of them. Seven out of seven. There could be more, but the side of the side objective could be for just seven. It's all so strange. What is this? Later, Ad. I'll tell you all when this is finished. Okay, but where's the entrance? I can already see this concrete, which is not normal. For an area like this, yeah, that's the entrance. Holy mother of gods. Is this the place we've come to see? Aye. Stand watch here. And let none follow. I'm not sure if that was the smartest idea to take her with me. Oh fuck. You're right. Ancient mechanisms in games always work without the fucking problem. Alright, so I'm supposed to get up there. Or as I think so. Or up here. That's also an option. Fuck. <laughs> Retarded fucking camera angles in every single Assassin's Creed game. For real. The most retarded thing about that is that you're not sure which buttons you have to fucking press in order to jump sideways, I mean to the right, or backwards, cause it's all fucking reversed and messed up and it makes no fucking sense. Alright, let's try that again. And now, I think I need to press D and shift. Yeah, it worked. Uh, can I just jump straight onto that? I think so. It's gonna break, obviously. No fucking way. For real? Alright, let's get rid of them. Uh, where do I need to go? Not here. That's for sure. Okay. That should work. Is there one of these walls? I'm not sure. Possibly. Uh, Alright, where to now? That broke, obviously. Not very surprising. Uh, Alright, here. And as always, and I already mentioned that in this playthrough, the mechanisms itself work without a problem, no matter of what. But normal structures that are made out of solid materials, like concrete or whatever the fact it is, break.
They always fucking break. Okay, where do I need to go? Up there, I guess. Or maybe not? Am I gonna fucking die from that? I mean, right here? No. Alright. I know, or at least I think, that if I'm gonna cross one of these lasers, I'm gonna fucking die. Can I just shoot him from here? That will make it easier. Did I miss this many times or... Yeah, I cannot kill him. Alright, it's scripted. Honestly, I thought I missed like twice. With the first shot, I'll, with the first shot I was like completely confident that I didn't miss. We could have worked together, Edward. We could have taken power for ourselves. So much that was a shitty timing, wasn't it? So much... Ah, kinda. <laughs> Captain Kenway, ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be. But killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. You honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. So I, with everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you. One thing that makes a lot more sense Are we safe? is that, what we, the is that we killed the I main guy, so. the main bad guy in the game. Place? Unlike in Assassin's Creed 2 Captain when Kenway we just falling. let him live. It's a wall to suit to kill Can't We will seal this place and discard the key. Until another sage appears, this door will remain locked. There were vials when I came here last. Filled with the blood of ancient men, Robert said, but... They're gone now. Then it's up to us to recover them, before the Templars catch wind of this. You could join us in that cause. I will, but... Only after I fix what I mangled back home. It arrived last week. What was in that fucking letter? Can we like find out or something? But there isn't much time. The short of it is, you saw my beloved Juno. And for a brief moment, I thought she might occupy this tender body of yours. But something went wrong. That was, that's the shady now, guy that is that She's back out there. Adrift. That was trying to blackmail us into doing this oh, strange shit. Like fucking into security One of servers. Of beautiful and this kind of shit. They created your kind. Did you know that? Your people were tools to them. That's all you have ever been. That's all you should ever be. One day soon, I hope. For the world is nearly ready for her return. Wired. Prepared for a second coming. <gasps> Uh-oh. Here they come. Those Templars. 
Or maybe assassins this time. Idiots. All of them. <clears throat> I envy you. It was her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of these things. Wait a second. He has different eyes as well. Is he a sage? Guide me into the grave, beloved! I am your instrument! Put the gun down! Drop it! Drop your weapon! Clear! Clear! Check his vitals. He's bleeding fast. Check the victim. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me. You alright? Yeah, so that was definitely the shady guy that tried to blackmail us and made us do all this weird shit like tracking security and other shit like that. I hope you feel well. You look good. And now he's dead. Can so that's good. Good. Try walking around. A doctor came by said there wasn't anything to worry about. That the liquid in the syringe was far, far below a lethal dose. I feel terrible about all this. About everything. All our evidence pointed to you, but it was John all along. God, the things we found on his computer. It... Whatever you need, we'll provide. You've done an amazing job. Evidence point to me. Which, Maybe because he did all this shit with my fucking hands. I owe you that much. Alright, so go. what's gonna happen now? We'll get to see the trailer for the game or what? Or at your animus. I think you'll love it. It really captures the the essence of the era. So take care. And again, thank you. In a world where pirates rule the waves. These men will discover that nothing is sacred and everyone is committed to rum, plunder, and women. Hola, ladies. This summer, Abstergo Entertainment invites you aboard for the adventure of a lifetime. So sharpen your cutlasses, shine your hooks, and sail with the Devils of the Caribbean. This virtual experience is not being rated. Okay. Nothing special, I'll say. Alright, uh, it is time to go back. And, well, what now? Talk, you idiot! Look at the light! Isn't that the battery? I think that's the battery. Hello? Hello? Ah, <clears throat> look, sorry about this. Uh, my name is Sean, and uh, back there is Rebecca, my partner uh, in crime. Hello. Bloody good work earlier. Honestly, I mean it. Delivering us all that data. It's really just too bad that our man on the inside was such a, um, <laughs> uh, how, how, how to put it? Fanatic. Fanatic is the best word, I suppose. We take who we can get. Exactly. Wait a exactly. second. Well put. We saw in John an opportunity to burrow deeper into the cell. The bitch was one of them. And I'm not ashamed to say we took it. Uh, not realizing, of course, that he was enlisting you to help him. And to blame, should anything go wrong. I suppose it all worked out very nicely in the end. Most of it, anyway. What Sean really wants to say is if you're up for more hacking, we are too. John gave you level 3 security clearance before he died. You should use it. The assassins don't have the resources to pay you like the Templars do, but we'll make it worth your while. Ah, uh, look, we should really cut it short, Bex. 20 seconds. All right. Good luck. Cheers, mate. And top-notch work. Really top -notch. Give yourself a pat on the back. And happy hacking. All right. Let's just go back and see what's going to happen. Is he going to go back to England or... Is she gonna come here? Or maybe his wife died? I don't know. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. They but didn't show us the letters, so we have no fucking idea. To live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben La had once counseled. And until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. 
I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irishwoman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. And my mind is settled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! An English ship. You're a in our port. port. Edward. And if you learn like, this is a pirate island, so. More than a week, Unless they're fucking lost. Make a fine father too. That's gonna be pretty damn interesting. Especially because of the fact that it's a brig. So it's definitely a warship. And all the harm that e'er I've done Alas, it was to none for me And all I've done for want of wit To memory now I can't So fell to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. And who's that exactly? Oh, all the comrades. They didn't tell us anything about it, that's for sure. Like seriously, you have no idea that we have a daughter. Maybe that's what the letter was. Maybe that's what the letter was about. I don't know. We'll never find out. Are we like, actually supposed to say somewhere? He said that he's sailing for London. Well, if he's going to. So I'm not sure. There was some more content in the Assassin's Creed 2 during the subtitle, uh, I mean the the credits, so let's wait a while and see what's gonna happen. Especially that, it's, that the game itself is still playable, I can, I can still control the ship. I cannot use the cannons obviously, but I can control it, so there might be something, something else, there might be something left. The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny, not a boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing a boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship, that's true, but not for a lark, to support us, to take care of her, and you. Not me. Mother said you didn't know about me. She said you worked only once a year, and that she never knew where to find you. That's all true, and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier, I don't know, I might have come home. 
I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but... That wouldn't have mattered. Can I steal your boat? Boat? I see no boat here. Do you? Oh, I mean ship, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then, everything is a ship. Large and small, but for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> That's a clever way of seeing it. Alright, so we actually have a doctor that he didn't know about. And I guess that that's what the letter was about. And what about his wife? Because she's not here, so did she die or...? I miss her, but it's alright. Was she in pain? I don't know. Did should I say that and I missed it? I think so. She was happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Yeah, I think she just told right. him that she died, well, but hey I didn't I didn't hear and that. We're on an adventure. Uh, only a little one, I hope. I can't handle too many more surprises. Do you think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Hmm. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? <laughs> You're looking at one right fucking now. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick at the helm before sundown. Yay! Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry, I... I... Uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me! This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate and whites. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. And that's it. The credits itself. Alright, so that's gonna be it for today's video and for this game, so hope you enjoyed, and that's the next one.